alternating current generator, principle, function and practical design. In this module you'll learn about the principle, function and practical design of an alternating current generator. English scientist Michael Faraday in 1831 experimentally demonstrated that a changing magnetic field can induce a current through a closed circuit. This phenomenon called electromagnetic induction became the key to the practical generation of electricity. Electricity can be generated by way of an alternating current generator simply called an AC generator. It is an electromagnetic device that transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy. This is how a simple AC generator looks like. As you can see, a rectangular coil sits between the two poles of a permanent magnet. The coil is mounted on an axle with a handle. As the handle is turned, the coil rotates between the poles of the magnet. As the coil rotates, the magnetic field through the coil changes, thus inducing an alternating electromagnetic force, or EMF, between the ends of the coil. The alternating EMF drives an alternating induced current in the external circuit, where an electrical load, such as a bulb, is connected. The two slip rings connected to the coil allow the alternating EMF induced in the rotating coil to be transferred to the external circuit. This figure shows the magnitude of the induced EMF changes according to the rotation of the coil. This figure shows the waveform for output voltage V if the number of turns on the coil is doubled without changing the frequency of rotation of the coil. On the contrary, the waveform for output voltage V will look like this if the frequency of rotation of the coil is doubled without changing the number of turns on the coil. Note that the maximum output voltage also doubles. Doubling of frequency means halving the period T. The design of a simple AC generator used in the laboratory varies from that used in practical. This design uses a fixed coil with a magnet rotating around it. That's why this is called a fixed coil generator. In this case, the rotating magnetic field cuts the coil to produce an induced EMF. In most cases, a fixed coil AC generator is preferred over a simple AC generator for three reasons. One, carbon brushes as used in a simple AC generator wear and tear easily and need to be replaced frequently. And frequent replacement means increased cost. And lastly, unlike a simple AC generator, a fixed coil generator has a more compact and space-saving design. This explains why a bicycle dynamo, which is a miniature AC power generator, employs a fixed coil design. In this module, you've learned the following. Electromagnetic induction is the phenomenon whereby a changing magnetic field induces a current through a closed circuit. An alternating current for AC generator is an electromagnetic device that transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy. The induced EMF of an AC generator can be increased by increasing the number of turns on the coil, increasing the frequency of rotation of the coil, using stronger permanent magnets, and winding the coil on a soft iron core. The design of a simple AC generator used in the laboratory varies from that used in practical. This design uses a fixed coil with a magnet rotating around it and is called a fixed coil generator. Advantages of fixed coil AC generator over simple AC generator. No carbon brushes are used, hence no wear and tear of the brushes resulting in reduced cost. No slip rings are used, hence no loose connection in the circuit in case of erosion of carbon brushes. And three, design is compact and space saving.